Hello guys, welcome back to PC1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily PC1 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the neutral axis, the compression and tension zone in the beam. So I will explain this topic with the help of the examples and pictures, so it will be easy to understand. Now here we consider a simply supported beam, and for example, there is some load acting on this beam. There may be some uniformly distributed load acting on this beam. So due to load acting on this beam, this beam will try to bend. So we will see here that it will bend like this, something like this, and on the top of the beam it will be compressed. They will show compression while the bottom of the beam will be tensioned. So the length of the beam at the bottom will be extended while at the top it will be contracts. So at the top of the beam we will so we will see some compressive stresses while at the bottom of the beam we will see some tensile stresses. So this is the general um, behavior of the beam under the uniformly distributed load. So now if we look how the neutral axis can be defined the compression and tension zone in a beam cross section can be defined. So if I cut this beam in the mid, so it will, so here I will see the cross section of the beam. So due to the load on the beam, the top, there will be some mid portion of the beam here at the mid. The portion where there is no stresses acting on the beam is known as the neutral axis. So here if I want to define the neutral axis, first of all, so it is the axis or the position or the point where there are no stresses. No stresses means no compression and no tension. There are no stresses. So here due to the load, the, bot the top portion of the beam will be compressed. This portion of the beam is in compression totally. Compression. So if I draw the stresses, so it will look like this, that it has been compressed. And the compressive stresses will be maximum at the top of the beam and it will decrease with the depth of the beam. So it will decrease with the depth of the beam and at neutral axis, this is a neutral axis depth. So at this point, the stresses, the compressive stresses will be equal to zero or the tensile stresses will be equal to zero. Now after the neutral axis, the tensile stresses will increase. So it will look like this. So here the whole portion of the beam is in tension. This bottom, the portion of the beam below the neutral axis will be in tension. So here this portion is in tension and we will have tensile stresses. So the maximum tensile stresses will be at the bottom of the beam. At the extreme bottom of the beam, we will have extreme higher tension stresses. So here we have maximum tensile stresses and here we have maximum compressive stresses. Compressive stresses have we have maximum tensile stresses. And also with the depth of the beam, the tensile stresses decreases. And at the neutral point or at the neutral axis, the tension and the compressive stresses are zero. So this is the general behavior of the beam and the uh, neutral axis, the neutral axis and the compressive zone which is above the uh, neutral axis and the tension zone which is below the uh, neutral axis. So hope you guys understand that what is neutral axis and the compression and tension zone for a simply supported beam when there is uniformly load acting on the beam. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.